All right. Hi, this is Bobby Halton, and we're here with Jarrett Anderson, and Jarrett is a BC in Napa Valley, and Jarrett's on duty with us today, so he only has a few minutes, and uh, he may get interrupted by uh, another fire call or another emergency. Jarrett, uh, you you uh, you mentioned that you were uh, home, you were not on duty the, the morning of the earthquake. What was it like? Uh, well, you're right. I was uh, I was at home. I do live in Napa, and uh, it uh, was was jolting. It uh, it bounced us almost bounced us out of bed. Um, there wasn't a, a clear path through the house. Pretty much everything came down throughout the house. There was broken glass everywhere. Um, it, it moved uh, my wife's vehicle. I had to move her car to just be able to get the the garage door open. Uh, it moved. Uh, Everything that was not bolted to the floor moved moved about a foot west, and uh, kind of had to dig my truck out of the garage to to come into work. Wow! So so, uh, real quick, were any firefighters? I mean, obviously you're all going to have some minor damage to your homes and whatnot, but have any of your crews been displaced, or any of the guys and gals that work for Napa? You know, homeless or you know. No, I thing? haven't heard of anybody who has been displaced. I know that uh, you know everybody had uh, damage. You know, uh, glassware, stemware, uh, TVs. Uh, there's some some uh, minor structural damage. You know, cracks in the walls, that sort of thing. But I haven't heard of anybody that. Uh, and you know, guys are still there's still, some guys that just haven't even been home yet. So uh, we'll we'll. We'll learn more about that as uh, we can kind of get into this. Wow. Well, how was it? How was it responding? And and I guess you're you're all pretty much just still on duty now. Is it a complete recall? The whole department? We did. We had a C shift was on duty, and they they did a recall. Um, and it was kind of bizarre coming down the the roads at 4 a.m. It was almost like the town uh, was um, bustling. There, there there was people out. You know, the Lapilas were all out trying to see what was going on. And, uh, but it, you know, we staffed everything up and we had, uh, we had a, a, a big return on our off duty firefighters. And we had, um, several mutual aid. We had, uh, almost 150 firefighters from, uh, mutual aid, uh, departments in surrounding communities. Wow. And, and uh, from news reports said that you had, Six major fires, but I imagine there were dozens of smaller fires that you, you were all trying to respond to as well. Yeah. Now, our first, the first one that came in, there were uh, six mobile homes that that actually burned, and um, I'm still kind of that was uh, before I got in. Um, that was going on, and there was a uh, a water main that had ruptured, and so they had no pressure. They were dealing with just tank water, and they, we had only an engine and a truck on that incident. So they, they were able to hold that to six uh, mobile homes. But then on top of that, we had um, two, one, two, three, four, five, five other uh, structure fires that happened, uh, you know, in, in the morning uh, as well. Wow. How do you – I mean, I guess you guys, because you're in California and you're, you're in the, the a quake-prone area, you, you drill and train and prepare. How did, how did, how did that – you know, did that pay off for you? Were there things that, you know, that happened that you obviously anticipated and things that, that you guys and gals didn't anticipate? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think as, as far as the structure response goes, um, I, I had engines from, you know, I was uh, in the, uh, they, they threw me kind of into the duty BC role, and I was running around to these different fires, and I would be running with, you know, three or four single resources, and uh, maybe a strike team would be thrown into it. And, you know, these, these are guys that some of them had never been to Napa. I had some uh, some Charlie um, engines from Cal Fire that, uh, you know, they, they maybe have never been to Napa before, but they had our frequencies, and they just, they, they, it, that's, the, that's the beauty of the, uh, the California mutual aid system is that we just, we kind of integrate into each other's operation and, um, they, they rolled in, and I gave them assignments, and uh, it was almost like we trained together. It was, it was uh, uh, interesting. That's outstanding, and, I, and, and it really, you know, it, it makes so much sense nowadays that people train more together and share frequencies and protocols because 
when when something like this happens, you know, it's, it's not the time to to educate folks on how we do business. It, you know, you just gotta you just gotta get business done. So how are the and well several of our people have been out on uh, you know on the, the fires uh, around California and we had one of our uh, guys was released from the the White fire uh, to come back to Tampa for for the earthquake I had been released from that fire a couple of days prior and we we've, we've had um, strike teams you know a lot of us had been out for three weeks prior to this even happening wow several of the fires around Northern California wow. So we heard that there were some hydrant issues. That were, were that was that kind of sporadic, or was it widespread? Yeah, the um, the incident PIO could probably talk to that, um, address that issue a little bit more. Yeah, that's but, that's cool. Um, I believe there were 60, 60 water main breaks. None of them were uh, critical uh, major lines. So. So, so do you, now we heard that the, the USAR guys and, and gals came in and. Uh, were helping out. Were, were there any uh, collapses where you had to, you know, do extrications, or was it all just, you know, collapse injuries, but basically surface rescue stuff? Uh, yeah, there was mainly surface rescue. There wasn't anything where we had to set up and uh, start shoring to get into somebody or uh, using cameras to find anybody. Uh, so far, everybody's been accounted for. So we did. We had. Uh, American Canyon, uh, which is right down the road from us, brought their uh, USAR team up. Uh, Marin County brought their uh, their USAR team, and uh, we have uh, um, OES uh, USAR uh, trailer and uh, engine as well uh, here in Napa. Wow! Wow! And now uh, we had uh, Napa County had their uh, uh, rescue uh, twelve. Well, it, 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 this is the largest quake that you guys have had, like in 25 years, and, and gals. So I guess most of the folks who were working uh, for this particular event, this was like the first major earthquake y'all have been responding to as a as a department, and all the news. Yeah, you know, we, looks we had one back in um, '99, which uh, did a lot of uh, it, it broke a lot of gas lines, it dropped a lot of chimneys, but nothing to this magnitude. Yeah. But this was a this was a big one. This was and and my my wife was a a, a wine person. She was in tears. She, she was like, not Napa, any place but Napa. Yeah. I don't drink, so for me it was you know okay, I get it, I guess. But uh, you know you 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 think about Napa, and, and I, I I was unaware. Unfortunately, I've never been to your town, but it it, it had a lot of architecture that looked. Uh, from like the 30s and stuff that looked really substantial, but even that really substantial yeah, well, architecture took a hit, huh? Napa, Napa was established in uh, 1849, I believe. So it's, uh, it's got a lot of old structures. Um, you know, right up the road from Benicia, which was the original state capital. So uh, there was a lot of commerce that happened in Napa. Um, so it, it was still set early. So our downtown is just right up the road. So at this point, how how are how are you all doing? I mean, is there anything, you know, that you all need, or is are things returning to normal? Have you been able to, you know, let any resources go, or are you still uh, kind of full bore? Right at eighteen hundred, we released all of the mutual aid resources. Uh, we held um, all of our recall resources. So and, and currently we're still uh, double staffed. So we have. Um, all of our reserve, we basically have sea ship and sea ship working, and uh, we're assessing the, the need for that, the, the continuation of that. Is there, is there anything that uh, firefighters, is there, do you know if any funds have been set up for the area or any anything that firefighters, because, you know, we always want to help, and we've all learned not to self-deploy, which is good, um, but we all we all want to help. Is there anything we can do to help uh, your fellow firefighters to help, help, help you all? Or, well, I don't know. I don't know of any um, current needs for um, any of our, our firefighters, but I know that there's a lot of uh, people that were displaced in the community, and I know the Red Cross is helping with that, so and Salvation Army. So, you know, those, getting in contact with those, those institutions would be good. Well, because
because I'm a shameless huckster, I will ask you. We're, we're hoping you'll write write this up for us with some lessons learned when you get a chance and and can run it through your system so you can share with everybody what it was like to go through, you know, such a significant event and 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 handle it so well. I mean, the entire fire service was just really um, really impressed by how you know, professional, and every time there was a news piece or a television piece, you know, I, my friends would be calling me saying, man, these guys are, even the press re releases, your chief did an outstanding job, um, just such a pro, and, and everybody was so uh, composed. You, you guys really, really set a, a high standard for incident management and, and, and information sharing uh, for the fire service and really to be complimented. So we'd, we would hope that you'd be willing to write it up for fire engineering and fire rescue and, uh, and perhaps you know when when the when the boss says it's okay, even maybe present to talk about it at FDIC. Yeah, well, well, thank you. That's a great compliment, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get that opportunity. Well, is is there anything uh, you'd like to share before we will let you go? We know you got to get back to work, but uh, is there anything we can we can uh, do do for you at this point? Yeah, you know, I appreciate you uh, giving us a call and checking in on us and uh, the compliments that uh, it's, it's very highly and uh, appreciate uh, uh, the opportunity. Well, if there's anything we can do for you, Jarrett, you've got my number. Feel free to give us a call any time. And uh, when things calm down and uh, you have some time, we'd like to do a, a more in-depth talk with you and perhaps take a, a visit out there and uh, sit down with you and the boss and, and, and talk about the event. Absolutely. Thank you, buddy. Be safe now. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. Thank you.